is Liz Mellish. Liz, uh, with various hats, she's a deputy chairman of uh, Federation of Maori Authorities, um, f former chairman of uh, Maori Reserve Trust. Liz is also a member of Maori Heritage Council, director of MetLife Care, trustee of Lux Fe Light Festival. Um, she, has a she has a very impact impactful uh, professional 40 years journey with roles in public and uh, private sector for Te Atiawa. Uh, today, Liz will share her views on former's role in the economy of um, our Tiarawa, New Zealand. She'll also specifically cover the partnership former has formed to enable business succeed in Australia, Samoa, Rarotonga, and New Caledonia. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Liz Malish. Tēnā mana i nā reo i rangi rā rangatira mā. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. Hello everybody, namaste. The Federation of Māori Authorities, I think the first statement I have to make is has just recently been valued at 11, over $11 billion to the New Zealand economy. We are serious business people. We're the best kept secret in the country. We were started in 1987, and Sir Timu Tuhuhu was really the man who drove the establishment of the Federation of Māori Authorities. We, came, we are a group of Māori businesses across this country, mainly in primary industry. And Sir Timu said, FOMA has actually provided the pathway to allow us to explore the issues not only of commercialisation, but the issues of people. Because FAMA is actually about people. And I think that's the important point that I want to make to you today. When we make our business decisions, we always have a quadruple bottom line because it is about people. So we always have environmental, social, cultural, and lastly, economic as part of our decision making in every decision that we make. That is how we operate our business. And we as the Federation exist for our members and that's all that we're there for. So really in some ways we're the uh, Chamber of Commerce for Māori. We very strongly foster sound management and um, economic development for our members. And we do that in many ways. But what we really do is we collaborate. And we grow wealth, as you can see, by the $11.1 billion that we're worth. And we're very determined to grow strong, even stronger in that economic space for not only for our members, but also for Aotearoa New Zealand. We provide advocacy and advice to government and industry, and particularly, that's our core business as, as the Federation. Sustainability is key, and it goes back often to that environmental question. We provide advice on policy and legislation, and particularly in those pieces of legislation that affect our Māori business. And what we do, and it was interesting hearing um, one of the speakers talk about the family being in the business for generations. We're intergenerational. We make decisions at least 200 years out. That's our modus operandi. This is our land. We have to take care of it. We use tikanga Māori as part of our structure and our values and the current policy areas that we're involved in is trade, climate change, and management of nat natural resources. So there's a bit of a picture of us last year at our um, annual general meeting and conference in Gisborne, and that's sort of a bit of a happy space where we get to after we've spent hours doing exactly what we're doing today. Here are some of the things that we're involved in in talking about primary industry. And so, uh, noting that you're well supported by Zespri, we are very, very much involved in Zespri. We are the biggest kiwi fruit farmers in the country. 
and uh, we're obviously involved in fishing. We're also involved in cows. We have our own milk producing company called Miraka, which is direct opposition to that other one that you've talked about all day today. <laughs> we actually pay our farmers more. We certainly don't pay our chief executives so much. Um, and, and we're exporting and doing very well, thank you very much. Uh, we also, of course, are beef and lamb people and uh, we have forests and we also manage property and we're in the tourism business. So here, here is our conference in Wellington and it's at a place that I actually have an office called Taraukura, the Whare Walker on Wellington's waterfront. You know, just a bit of a plug-in, you know, if you want to come to Wellington and hold a conference, we'll do it for you. And here we are at Parliament. We'd just been to select committee doing a submission. I can't remember what for. It was a couple of years ago. But, oh, to Tūre Whenua, I think. And, um, and we are constantly providing advice to government to ensure that Māori and Māori businesses um, thrive in this country. So we've been on a transformation agenda and it's led by four po, kotahitanga, which really means working as one, mātauranga, which is about knowledge, rangatiratanga, which is really about us being leaders, and, and whaihua, which is talking about creating wealth and, wealth and prosperity for our leaders. We have a saying, me uri kahikatia, that's our um, wakatoki, or that's our vision statement. So we're really here just talking about our strategy. What do we do? We influence and we design policy and strategy. We share knowledge and we promote culturally commercial thinking as the basis for our value-add strategy. Why we do it, it helps our members grow and prosper. And we've established a kaupapa Māori economic ecosystem, which interestingly, now that we're doing wellbeing budgets, we've been doing it for over 100 years. In fact, we've been doing it for probably a 1,000 years, frankly. And we, we also have a responsibility to this country of Aotearoa. And we ensure that the economy is sustainable and strong. So we make no apology for who and what we say we are. We represent the interests of our me members to government, and it doesn't matter who the government is, we represent it, and for industry that is forthright, frank and fair. And I think the interesting, I just want to make a couple of comments. Um, I'm, a, I'm a city iwi, Wellington City, Hutt City and Upper Hutt City. And so we actually manage properties. And so as chairman of something called the Palmerston North Māori Reserve Trust, which isn't Wellington, one of those other things that the politicians of the time took us and tried to move us off our land in Wellington to Palmerston North. We kept the land. We stayed in Wellington. Um, and, and we're doing very well, thank you. And we took over management of our business in 1987. We were worth less than a million dollars. We are over the 100 million. And we're serious business people in Palmerston North, actually, and in Wellington. So we are successful. We certainly do tourism. We certainly do conferencing. Um, and we, uh, so those are our export trades. We also uh, do farming, of course, as most of our members do, and we're seriously in the business of export. I would say to you, India, we probably don't know you very well. And that's where we need to change. That's really the key for me coming here today and introducing myself, because in actual fact, the only pe people who can talk to you about Māori business are Māori. And we are not well represented in this room, and we should be. So I'll just put that little message out there now. I was very interested to go to lunch. Thank you so much. Um, but interesting that we're serving Indian food to Indians. Surely you would come here and try New Zealand food. Where is the seafood? There's pumpkin and no kumara. 
So I do suggest we have to get better about talking to each other. We do need to communicate much better. We as Aotearoa New Zealand need to proudly put our hand up and say, this is us. Come and try our kai. Come and share food with us. So on that note, I think, have I done my 10 minutes? I've got 31 seconds. I think I've been pretty good, really. <laughs> so on that note, I'll leave it. Thank you.